Hi, I'm Nick Natarella with AdWise Creative. So how much content do you need to start a blog? Well, when you first start blogging and you've already got your day set, now all of a sudden you've got to build it into your schedule. You've got to try and figure out when you're going to do this. How often are you going to post? Then you've got to back up and do the time when it takes to do the research and do the blogging. Well, keep watching. We're going to simplify that and streamline it for you and ultimately take a lot of that pressure and overwhelm off your shoulders. So how many posts do you need? How often should you post? I'll give you a quick five minute exercise to make sure that this is really the blog for you. And then I'll give you my number one secret that gives you your YouTube channel, your podcast, and your blog in one simple click. Let's get started. So when you're first starting your blog, it would be very easy to say, well, just crank out a blog post and go ahead and post it. That's probably setting you up for failure. The best way to get your blog up and running is to actually have 10 to 15 blog posts done, in the can, ready to upload. And I'm talking all your research is done, all your writing is done, all your rewriting is done. Anything that you need to do as far as extra links or anything like that, have that. They should be in the drawer collecting dust and you dust them off and post them. And the reason why I say 10 to 15 is because if you can't get past that initial step in your blog posting, chances are you're not going to sustain it. In order to get to 10 or 15 blog posts, you're going to go through all the research, all the preparation, all the writing, all the rewriting, every single step of the way. And by the time you get to 15, you're going to have it built into your daily, if not weekly calendar and be able to keep going. Now let's take a step back. What exactly are we blogging about? The best way I know how to make sure that you're going to come up with a blog title, not just a blog title, but I'm sorry, a blog subject. What's going to be the purpose of your blog? And hopefully, being your business blog, that's going to be a little bit easier for you. But the best way to do it is take 5, 10, 15 minutes and just brainstorm subjects. Not necessarily titles, don't worry about the details, but just talk about the subjects you're going to cover. And if you can come up with 15 to 20 subjects in just five minutes, chances are you're going to do just fine. If you can't get past this exercise, you might want to rethink what it is you need to blog about. I'd hate for you to get started, put all the time and effort into it, and only have two or three things to show for it, and then it dies. Blogging is a long-term effort. It's very much like uh, being stuck on the side of the road and you have to push your car. That first shove is going to take all your energy and you'll be lucky if you get to move one inch. That second shove is going to take pretty much all your energy and you'll move an inch and a half. It's going to take some serious shoving to finally get some momentum built up where all you have to do is put your hand on the back bumper of the car and to keep it moving. But boy oh boy, those first five to six months are hard. And I'm trying to get you past that first five or six months in just a five minute exercise. And I think you can do it. We're talking about your business here. We're talking about stuff that you talk about every single day. So where do you get these topics? Where are these things that you're going to talk about? The most valuable ones are the questions your clients and customers are already asking. What are they talking to you about right now? And you see a pattern, right? Chances are, 80% of the questions that you encounter on a daily basis are repeats. Only the last 10 to 20% of those questions from any individual client will be something new, something you hadn't thought about. But chances are you answer it right there on the spot, don't you? And if not, you know where to find the answers. So start with your own clients to begin with. What are they asking you now? Some other ways to find that content, proper SEO searches. Chances are there are other people who are not your client yet that are also asking questions. A friend of mine, Nate Woodbury, calls it his leaf technique. And what he does is he gets onto an SEO program like SEMrush. He uses SEMrush and starts typing in very generic terms, two, maybe three word terms, and then drills down to find the really long tail 
questions that people are actually asking. For example, if you are a financial advisor, and I like financial advising, this is a very simple, very simple uh, example for me, your entire tree is financial advising. Your different branches are, let's say, IRAs, 401ks, stock investing, annuities, anything like that. And then way out on the end of those branches are the leaves like, when can I retire with a 401k? How can I maximize returns on my Roth IRA? Those are very long phrases that are way out there on the end. And when you're answering those specific questions, when people type in that specific question into search, you'll be the one to pop up. So go over to YouTube, type in Nate Woodbury and do a search for his leaf strategy. Another quick technique is just go to Google. Start typing in a simple question. How do I, and then make it applicable to your business. What would people be searching for you? What would they be asking questions about your business? Start that and you'll see Google starts to give you a whole bunch of suggestions as you're typing. Does one of those apply? Do two of those apply? Write them down and then search them individually. And you will also see Google give you a bunch of recommendations or possibilities or suggestions. Start looking those up. If those are good for you, if they apply to you, make a blog post about that question and you answer it for your business. Now this can get really deep and in the weeds. Is something confusing? Have I lost you? Do you have a question? If you have any kind of questions about blogging and blogging for your business, put them in the comments down below. I read them all and maybe I'll come up with a new video for you inspired by your question. Now, if you've stuck around this long, I'm gonna give you my biggest secret of generating any and all online content. Here it is. You're starting out, you're trying to write your blog. Let's say you've got it outlined, at least outlined. Chances are you can talk about this very easily, right? I suggest and highly recommend you do all of this on video. Record it on video. And then when you're done, you can start a YouTube channel. In the video program, there's a way to just mix it down with only the audio and no video. What do you call audio with no video? Sounds like a podcast episode to me. So now you've got your YouTube channel and your podcast ready to go. And since you only outlined it, you didn't really do the full typing, but whatever you talked about, chances are your video program will also be able to transcribe the audio. Now you've got typing. Sounds like your blog post now, doesn't it? You've done it once and you've got all three, what I call the big three elements to your social media marketing, video, podcast, and a blog article. All three of them answering the questions that your clients and customers are looking for. It doesn't get any better than that. Now, for example, let's say you really like motorcycles. Okay, great. Talking about motorcycles is gonna last you one or two, maybe three blog posts. Let's dive a little bit deeper. What kind of motorcycles are there? There's cafe racers, there's street racers, there's dirt bikes, there you can break that down into further categories. Then let's talk about different kind of brake setups. Let's talk about uh, design. Let's talk about shocks. Let's talk about, you can break this down, not only, a, let's say shocks in general, you can go down to specific brands and applications and what you want them for and do a couple how-to videos on how to mount them. Do a couple how-to how videos on how to adjust them. Are they right? Now all of a sudden you've got a million blog posts and we were only talking about shock absorbers. <laughs> so there's a bunch of different ways to get your topics. And one of the hardest things to do, especially when you're involved in the business, is to break down the stuff that you do on a daily basis without even thinking. Now we gotta wake that up. We gotta get that stuff back to the front of your mind. Remember the day when you first learned it? That's the way we've got to make it in your consciousness. And now you're going to have plenty to talk about. Now, if you've hung out this long, I do have a very special gift for you. Something that's going to cover 99% of what I just talked about. And that is, Again, remember I mentioned Nate Woodbury earlier. This is his book, A Hero's Guide to Influence on YouTube. This covers everything from, let's say you wanna start 
like I recommend, start recording in video. This talks about lighting, microphones, editing, all the stuff that you could possibly need. In fact, a deeper dive into finding your topics. This is a great resource for that. Click the link below and you can get almost free copy. This is not an affiliate link, by the way. I'm not making any money off of it, but Nate has made a bunch of them available to you. Just give me your address, pay for shipping and printing. There's no profit whatsoever off of this because it's quite the book, actually. Full color, all kinds of charts and graphs. There's the leaf technique that we were talking about. All right, it's a really great resource and this is going to become your new social media tome. I guarantee it. Get your copy today. Just click on the link down below in the description. I'm Nick Natarella. Thank you for watching.